Hello, everybody. Welcome to the final episode of Final Fantasy Record Keeper, at least for the Record Dungeons. I do have some videos I'm going to splice together, not voiced, of me doing, um, like, the basic story out of the Magicite Dungeon story and stuff. Um, I've slowly been taking videos of it as, as it shows up, but it's all, it's all the one-time stuff in the uh, main game, so I can't redo any of it, so... Um, at some point, I plan to put it all together as, um, maybe I might do a different playlist for that, just, a, a here's, here's the rest of the story that's not in the Record Dungeons bit. But for this Let's Play of the Record Dungeons of Final Fantasy Record Keeper, this is the last episode. It's been quite a journey. Um, so let, let's just do it. This is the tale of a man who walked a path of chaos and destruction, and of a meeting and parting of ways. Naming way. So the chronosphere has vanished. Shadowsmith. Hmm? Naming way. You used the last of its power to return. If you'd traveled alone, perhaps it could have been saved. Interesting. So it was your choice. Shadowsmith. Where's that voice coming from? Naming way. It seems your powers as a record keeper are coming back. That you can now perceive me, even if just my voice, is proof of that. Shadowsmith. What's the meaning of this? Wait, is this the voice of the gods said to be found in the ancient ruins? Answer me! How can I obtain a fully functional chronosphere? No matter how many times I try, it's always imperfect. Naming way. You already have the answer to that. You crafted the chronosphere alone in your world. But what happened here? Shadowsmith. Almeron and Alara banded together. They united to protect all they hold dear, a noble cause fraught with peril. Namingly, if they had already realized their powers as record keepers, a full manifestation would be possible. Sadly, they were not quite ready. Though they were able to extract its full power, that's why it vanished. Shadowsmith, what have I been doing? I sought an intact chronosphere while attempting to destroy the only way to obtain it. Naming way. But you saved the version of you from this world, and... You did not spark a memory burst to use the chronosphere. Do you know why this is? Shadowsmith. I'm not sure. But something Elmeron said made me think. It reminded me of what she tried to tell me with her dying breath. I saw Elmeron as an ignorant child, but I was wrong. I was the ignorant one, blind to Alara's wishes. You had it right all along, Elmeron. Naming way. What do you intend to do now? Shadowsmith. About what? Naming way. In this world, you escaped your fate. Fate no longer has a hold over you. You've been through this countless times, but this is a first. Several paths stretch out before you. Which will you choose? Shadowsmith. I planned to take the path of ruin. But you were right, Shadow. Naming way. Is something on your mind? Shadowsmith. No, I was just thinking back on something. It happened before I revealed the truth to Almeron on Mount Ordeals. The Past Almeron and the Shadowsmith disappear before Ilara's eyes after being surrounded by mysterious light. As Elmeron is reunited with Cecil, 
the Shadowsmith encounters another band of heroes. Locke. Just ahead are Kefka, Gestal, and the Warring Triad. Celes. Look, someone's lying on the ground. Realm. Isn't that Interceptor's master? Locke. Shadow? Wake up! Shadow. Filthy double-crossing empire. Tried to off me the second I had served my purpose. Locke. Shadow! We thought you were dead! Shadow. Is Interceptor alright? Locke. He's fine. Come on, let's go. Shadow. Just leave me here. Locke. Sorry, that's not happening. Celas. Look, there's someone over there, too. Almeron? Shadowsmith. Ugh. Have I jumped through the record? Realm. You all right, Almeron? Locke. Did the Imperial Scum get you, too? Shadowsmith. Are you talking to me? Locke. Who else? Shadowsmith. They think I'm Elmeron? This must be a glitch in the chain. I never expected to hear myself addressed that way again. Fate works its mysteries. Locke. You seem different, Elmeron. Celes. This talk can wait. We better hurry. Realm. You're coming, right, Elmeron? Shadowsmith. Without the dampening canvas, there's no way to quell the magic after altering the record. Oh well. I don't see any quicker way to wrap this up. I'm right behind you. Something wrong. The surprise Shadowsmith sprite is, uh, spot on. Shadow. What happened to you? Shadowsmith. I don't understand. Shadow. You seem more hardened to the world now. Just like me. Shadowsmith. Well? It's because I'm not the Elmeron that you know. Shadowsmith. Locke, what is it? Locke, there's a tough fight ahead. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Am 
My name is Ultima. I am power both ancient and unrivaled. I do not bleed, for I am but strength given form. Feeble creatures of flesh, your time is nigh. You tell yourself that. Good timing on that cure. This is a difficult fight. Well, <clears throat> I mean, I guess we'll see about difficult, but it is not uh, straightforward. It is not going down fast. That was neat. Oh no, focusing energy. That's not good. Don't do that. had it. Okay, good. <clears throat> Cell has almost had it on the last bit. 0.5%. Ugh.
I don't remember there being a choice there. Seen as Tyro in the Record Realms, the Shadowsmith joins Locke and the others on their journey across the floating continent to finish tracing the record there. Shadow, I have no right to fight at your side, not after I sold myself to the Empire. Shadowsmith, no right? I imagine you could say the same of me. What does it matter anyway? Since I choose the one thing most important to me, I've been ready to turn my back on everything else. Sellers. Shadow. Log. Let's go. <laughs> Gestal. Well, well, look who's here. Ha <laughs> ha, so you all came to die together then. Well, you're just in time. Behold the warring triad. Power. I've got goosebumps. Sellers. Emperor Gestal, please stop this madness. Gestal. Sellers, child, you alone are special. Why don't I give you and Kefka the task of creating progeny to populate my new Magitech empire? Kefka, kill the others and we'll forgive your treachery. Take the sword. Kill them all. Gestal, Sellers, together we will rule the world. Sellers, power only breeds war. It's something we'd all be better off without. Kefka, ouch! Sellers, you missed his heart. Kefka, but blood, blood, blood! You vicious brat. Arr, you know, you really are a stupid, vicious, arrogant, whiny, pampered, backstabbing, worthless little brat. Gods, you were born to fight. Now is the time. I implore you, show me your power. Let me in here. Now listen to me. No more playing games. I command you. Show me your power. Gestal. Kafka, stop. If you revive them, they'll destroy the very world we want to rule. There's no value in that. Kafka, are you mad? Kafka. Mad? Emperor Gestal, what are you saying? This is the perfect chance to show them the power of the Warring Triad. Gestal, oh, Kefka, you poor hopeless thing. I'm afraid you leave me no choice. No hard feelings now. I'm just going to use this power you've unleashed to put you to sleep. What's so funny? Very well. I suppose it's only fitting that you go out laughing. Fyraga! Flare! What's going on? Why isn't my magic working? Meltdown! Kefka! How? 
How are you doing this? Kefka, how, you ask? By standing at the center of the warring triad, of course. They absorb all the magic sent their way. Or hadn't you noticed? Triad, your first victim has stepped forward. Show this useless old man your true power. Gestalt, no, Kefka, stop playing around. Kefka, I said show him your power. Kefka, incredible. Can't you do any better than that? You're way off. Where are you aiming? More to the right. Run, run, or you'll be well done. Bullseye. Oh dear. Well, I guess I was a bit hasty in calling you a useless old man before. Now you're useless. Gestal, the world is about to learn the meaning of fear. Sellers, no, Kefka. Kefka, you mustn't. If you disturb the balance, their power will run, riot, run wild. Kefka, who's that? Oof. Shadow, go! Shadow Smith. Shadow? Shadow, forget about me. Run! There's no stopping this now. I'll find my way back. Trust me. Kefka, you can't escape me. Scylla's shadow. Locke, come on, we have to get out of here. I was like, how long could the last four things be? They could be pretty long. Timer's counting down, you gonna let me move? Nilapa, mwahaha, you think I'm going to let you escape? I mean, I didn't think you were going to let me, but... 
Ooh, it would have been nice. Oh, good lord. It's going down faster than the Ultima weapon, but... Uh. <laughs> but the Ultima weapon didn't have a timer on it. Oh well, that'll do. I guess I should have tried that earlier. The nice thing about Record Keeper is that it pauses the timer while the boss dies. <laughs> Kefka unleashes the power of the Warring Triad. While Shadow takes him on to buy the heroes some time, the party makes for the airship to escape the floating continent. Lock. The airship's below. There's no time. What do we do? Realm. Shouldn't we wait? Sellers, we can't just leave Shadow. Still. We wait. Shadowsmith. We should wait for Shadow. Lock. Yeah. Shadow. Shadow. I'd never be able to rest in peace if I died without collecting my pay. Shadowsmith. I wish I knew. Locke. There's no way to stop their magic? There is not. Oh no, the imp! Shadowsmith. This is just a story. My actions mean nothing. Why then? Lock. Almeron, focus! Setzer. Hang on! Can't believe the front half just kept going. straight without, like, dropping, dangling or something from the edge of the thing. This is different graphics than what you get in the actual game, obviously. On that day, the world was changed forever.
What's this? This is... Reunion with Shadow. The Shadow Smith jumps through the record, ending up in the world of ruin. The party finds Shadow lying on the floor of, the, of a cave. Shadow Smith. It seems I've made another jump. Could that be... Setzer. Such terrible injuries. <laughs> the giant monster sprite just bouncing in. Hi, <laughs> Behemoth King. Okay. Um. Burning snipes fun. keep having exactly the right timing on those uh, cures, which is nice. Sure. We'll do that. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Something's coming. Another monster appears. The undead version. This one's gonna be harder. Okay. <sighs> Okay, maybe not that much harder. Goodness. No wonder he was beating me up.
Setzer. These wounds are awful. We can't do anything for wounds like these here. Let's fly back to Thamasa on the double. Must be having a nightmare. Shadowsmith. It seems that way. You came to try and stop me. I'm sorry, but I can't turn back, boy. Stay here with my daughter. You both deserve to live in peace. Realm. He looks in pain. Interceptor seems worried, too. Setzer. All we can do now is wait. Rest will help. Little surprise that wasn't on the main path. The Shadowsmith jumps again and is reunited with Sellas and the others at the Dragon's Neck Coliseum. There he hears rumors of a man who seeks a certain item. Oh good, don't make me do the dungeon. <laughs> Thank goodness. Or the Coliseum. That's... Whew. Shadowsmith. What is this place? I must have jumped again. Receptionist. This is the Dragon's Neck Coliseum. Champions from all over the world come here to fight for prizes and glory. Shadowsmith. The Dragon's Neck Coliseum. Orthros. Me, the great and noble Orthros, reduced to working as a receptionist in this stinking Coliseum. Sob. Sellas. A Maron? Setzer. Good to see you fit and well. Shadowsmith. I could say the same of you, Sellas and Setzer. What are you two doing here? Setzer. We heard of a fighter dressed all in black at the Colosseum. Rumor has it he seeks that blade Ichigeki. Shadowsmith. Dressed all in black, huh? Sellas. We had to look into it. Shadowsmith. You have Ichigeki with you? Sellas. Uh-huh. It's time. Receptionist. Care to fight in the Colosseum? Sellas. Yes. We'll stake this Ichigeki on the match. I'll be the challenger. sequences with the sprites. Sellas, what are you doing here? Shadow, the only thing I know how to do. I'm fighting. Setzer, why don't you come with us? Shadow, perhaps I should. All right, it's time to put my skills to the ultimate test. Shadowsmith, tell me, what is it you seek from such a strife-filled path? No answer? Shadow. Yes, I walk a dangerous path. But the time you waited for me shows you might not be ready to do the same. Hesitation will be your downfall. Shadowsmith. Hesitation? I've cast that aside. I'll find a way to sever fate's bonds this time. Even if it means clashing with my other self.
If I'd known how this ends back then, how would I have taken it? Naming way. Have you chosen your path? Shadowsmith. I was prepared to let this world burn if it meant saving Alara. I couldn't care less if the world thought me evil, or if it turned my heart cold. Naming way. But you couldn't bring yourself to turn the world against you, and you're done walking the path of ruin. Am I right? Shadowsmith. That doesn't mean I'll choose the path you want me to. Naming way. I ask nothing of you. I merely offer wisdom and guidance. Shadowsmith. Then you'll guide me? Naming way. If such guidance is needed. What he told you wasn't all wrong. You are needed in this world. It veers ever closer to a violent end. Shadowsmith. I can't let it be destroyed. I still have things to do here. My coming here opened up a different path. This world may change because of my presence. I never thought I'd be the one to change fate. Trust in myself and others and never falter. Well, Almeron, let's see if those words ring true. Show me that your destiny lies within the, with the unwritten future of this world. Almeron. Ugh. Ilara. Almeron! Where are you, Elmeron? Dr. Mog. Elmeron! Shadowsmith. Heh. <laughs> that is not what I expected this to be. This little post. Epilogue. Epilogue, that's the word. Until next time, Almeron. Someday, in an uncertain future, the end. Interesting. Okay, and now, okay. <laughs> it's like, I don't have to go unlock anything. And that's it. That is the record dungeons. So, um, like I say, I have... Um, Here's where I'm at. I am in the Magicite stuff. I have not yet um, completed a... I mean, I I have not defeated a level a six-star Magicite. I got this one down to, like, I don't know, 30% health, maybe, and, and he killed me. Um, so I'm, I, I'm working on it. I'm going to give it a shot. If I can't... Um, finish off any of the six stars, then that's where I have to leave off. I just... Hopefully somebody online has video of what happens after that, but um, I'm pretty sure this, the six star Magicite stuff, the five star is still... Oh, let's go take a look. So, Ilara shows up when you open up the Magicite dungeons. Um, and then the Shadowsmith shows up somewhere around beating the, the first or the second um, level of Magicite. And then there's the uh, five stars, and I think the, after the five stars, it, that leads, that opens up Dark Odin, and then Dark Odin leads into the Record Dungeons, and then the Record Dungeons all happen, and then we do the six star stuff, because Biggs and Wedge and Dr. Mog are all there for the six star, but the Shadowsmith is not. So, and then, in order to open these crystal dungeons, I have to beat a single, at least one six-star magicite. So I have no idea what the crystal dungeons are like. And the labyrinth and cardia dungeons seem to be uh, separate storylines, or side stories, or maybe ongoing afterwards, I'm not sure. Again, um, I'm almost certainly not going to be able to finish the labyrinth in time I... could feasibly finish off season one um, 
possibly season two, but there's like five seasons of this stuff, and there's a, that's a lot to get through. The Labyrinth Dungeons take a while. And I've got a week before this game goes away forever. At least the global version. And um, even at the height of my ability to read Japanese, I, uh, I don't think I was fluent enough to actually play this game in the Japanese version and understand, be able to read the storyline. So um, I'll have to get get figure out how it goes second hand or third hand. But um, yeah, this is a game I have been playing off and on. I'm sure I've talked about this before. I've played it off and on since it came out. I was pre-registered for it when I first heard about it. It um, a sprite-based a crossover Final Fantasy game. It's basically um, my dream game. I love the crossovers. I love sprite-based games. I grew up on Final Fantasy IV and VI. Um, and it came out right around my birthday, and it just felt like a really special game. So I'm really sad to see it go. Um, even if I never quite didn't keep up with it while it was, you know, still going in, in this country. Um... It was nice to, you know, just know that I that it was there. So, um, I'll miss it. And, you know, the last two months since they announced the end the end of service, um, I um, really got back into it. I have obviously just finished off the record dungeons. It took me two months to get through all, all of that. Um, recording it, but... Um, I figured out how to do some of the higher end stuff that I never bothered. Never, I I got destroyed by like level two hundred stuff at one point early on, and just kind of gave up on it. Um, really, the trouble was the nightmare dungeons. I don't remember exactly which one it was. Um, back when it came out originally, I think it might be this one. Um. I I could not, for the life of me, actually... Oh, I have actually mastered it even now. Um, I couldn't... It, just, it, 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 was too much, it was too hard for me. I, I tried, I looked up strategies, I, I did everything I could, and it was just too much, too much effort, too much... So I, I, um, I kind of gave up on it at that point. So I'm a little sad that I did. Um, or at least that I never came back to it. Um, until until it was basically too late. But so yeah, I've really enjoyed this game, um, and that record the record dungeon storyline was got really good at the end. I really did enjoy a lot of that. Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and this whole series. I uh, thank you for watching everything, and I hope you join me in another. Uh, let's play. Um, I think maybe next I'll go finish off the Final Fantasy IV Let's Play I've had on hiatus for two years. <laughs> trying to actually finish games now. Um, so yeah. Bye!